The latest numbers show that inflation eased again last month. That comes ahead of the Federal Reserve's final interest rate decision of the year. That announcement is expected later today. NBC's senior business correspondent, Christine Romans, is here to break down the numbers and what it all means for our wallets. So let, let's start there. I mean, is sure. it widely expected that the Fed will leave the rates unchanged? And if so, yeah. what does that say about the state of our economy? So inflation has been issue number one for American families for a year and a half. And this was more slow progress on the inflation front. And so it's expected the Fed doesn't need to move today to raise interest rates, leaving them steady, which will be six months by the time there's the next meeting of, of, of steady inflation. Look at how it's come down. It was 7 and change, 7% last year at this time, now 3.1%. Inside these numbers, guys, gas prices coming down. That's something the people are feeling every single day. In 23 states, you have gas below $3 a gallon. Shelter, though, this is the number I've been watching and worried about. This is what you pay for housing. Mm -hmm. This number is still stubbornly high. Mm -hmm. So this is what we're watching. One of the reasons why inflation has been a, a, a harder to get to the 2% that the Fed wants is because of that, that shelter number. But the overall picture here, I just wanted to show you, you could maybe see interest rate cuts sometime later next year. That's what all of the economist wonks are talking about uh, because the economy is moving in the direction the Fed wants, getting closer to that so-called soft landing where you kill inflation without having a, a recession. But GDP, holiday spending, the stock market, by the way, is up 19 percent this year. So that's the backdrop as we ease out the year. And I mean, you don't have to I mean, the ex expectation is that the Fed is eventually going to cut rates. But, but consumers could see. I mean, we've seen mortgage rates coming right. down a little bit. There's already some silver lining, some green shoots. Isn't that what you economists yes. Like call it? Yes, yes, green, green shoots. shoots. Oh, my fellow nerd. I yes. love it. So, but you look at, for example, mortgage rates. Um, those have been coming down for six weeks. Weeks now, so they're still above seven percent. That's still more than double what they were. What most people have for a mortgage, but a lot of economists. You talk to bank rate. You talk to all the people who track mortgage rates, and they say hopefully sometime next year you're going to get below seven again. And you know there was a Bank of America survey last week that said that first-time home buyers are becoming impatient. Mm -hmm. At some point. 7% mortgage rates are going to be the norm, and they're going to start stepping into the housing market. We had all good numbers, things to be excited about. But if you do a poll of what people think, they do not think that the economy is going well. Isn't that interesting? What is that saying? So people say the economy, you know, sucks. Sorry, Mom, yeah. but that's what they say. But it really, it doesn't. And so there's this disconnect. And I think it's something that's going to be important into an election year as well. Um, because I, I call it the sourpuss economy. I say, well, GDP is good. And people go, mm. you know, people <laughs> just don't. Believe it. But you were they saying it's like it. the economy might suck. Sorry, Christine's mom. But people aren't <laughs> acting like They're it. They're not does. acting yeah. like it either. They're spending money. Yeah. That Bank of America survey shows people are going to try to buy a house maybe next year. So there's this disconnect. Yeah. And uh, we'll have to watch and see how it plays out, both in the economy and in spending and in politics. All right. Christine, thank, thank you. you. And we're glad thank your you. mom watches everything. <laughs> I know. Well, she did until we started cursing right here. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.